covering the Northern Bahamas? You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. Events in observance of Youth Month kicking off in the East with an awards and recognition ceremony. Rumiko Knowles has the details. <laughs> A night of celebration for some 15 youngsters recognized for their outstanding performance in academics and community involvement. Loud applause could be heard from proud parents after hearing their children's name being called for a special award. Chief Counselor for East Grand Bahama and local government Donovan Bo says that the entire service centered around the honorees. Children melt my heart instantly. So to see them smile and have that sense of accomplishment of being rewarded for all of the, all of the achievements that they would have made thus far it was really exciting and rewarding itself. Youth leaders from the East Grand Bahama Committee handpicked each student to be recognized. The Chief Counselor says that the majority of the children selected are students of the Tabernacle Baptist Christian Academy. Choosing 15 was a hard task for each youth leader to select one, but definitely a greater involvement from the parents in the various communities to help push their kids forward. As we are celebrating under the theme youth at the forefront of change, it would be good that they are at the forefront of their parents in the background, pushing them and propelling them even further. Ten-year-old deputy head boy of Tabernacle Baptist Christian Academy, Michael Glinton, also known as Big Mike, is one of the honorees chosen by the East Grand Bahama Committee. Mike says it feels great to be honored. It feels exciting and good. I work with the cameras in church. I, like, sometimes preach, you know, keep going and never give up. Giving remarks to the honorees, Deputy Prime Minister the Honorable K. Peter Turnquest says that the children are not only leaders of tomorrow, but they're also leaders of today. He adds that they possess the ability to influence a lot of what's happening in the country. I spent pretty much the whole day up here in East End. Uh, we were able to, do, to uh, um, uh, contribute some musical instruments this morning. Uh, I was able to stop at the preschool uh, after that and to share with them a little bit. And now tonight uh, for this church service. And the whole day Day has been so insp inspirational because uh, just watching and listening to these children perform and interact uh, so pure and so innocent uh, you know you, it reminds you of why you offered for service and why we do the things that we do now the entire month is filled with activities for youth all across the country reporting for ZNS Network News I'm Ramiko Knowles the Lewis Yard Primary School spearheading a campaign to boost morale among the students. This campaign was launched at the institution recently and RJ Philippe was there. Lewis Yard Primary held its character day that was spearheaded by guidance counsel of the school, Kelisa Kemp. Ms. Kemp said that the idea was sparked from previous character day that she attended with various guidance counselors on island right before the beginning of the school year. So we have a lot of issues with our kids are dealing with. Some kids are shy. You have some kids who are dealing with a lot from home. So at least if they are able to find something within themselves that's personal, something they could say, well, you know what, I am known for this. Then this can help a lot of things that we have going on. So that's what kind of sparked character day for our students here. The guidance counselor talked about some of the activities that the students took part in as part of Character Day. She also elaborated on the role at the institution. My role as a guidance counselor is to go into the classroom and have classroom guidance and what we normally do is we will pick a character trait and we will discuss information pertaining to that character trait. For example, one of the one of the character traits we did was love. So kids were asked what is love? What are some ways that love can be shown? And they were also mandated to go out there and to show love to others, persons who they don't know or even simply a family member. Standout student Samaya Dorcia says that the character day has definitely helped her to be more brave and courageous. She was very excited to know that she can follow her dreams on one day becoming a singer. I want to be brave sometimes, so I have to express my brave feelings and stand for myself. I'm trying to practice singing, doesn't matter what people say, and start stepping up. On Business Network News, I'm Jay Philippe. And now it is time to ask the doctor. Hi and welcome. A concerned mom sent this question. A couple of weeks ago, I went to the emergency room to take my child for medical attention for a high fever. The whole experience took almost a day because the emergency room was full of people.
It seemed to me that most of those people didn't have to be there at all. Doc, isn't an emergency room just for medical emergencies? I love your question, and yes, in a perfect world, only serious medical emergencies would end up in a hospital's emergency room. When your baby is sick or hurt, it's hard to know what to do. Do we wait and see if the baby gets better, or rush to the emergency room? As a concerned mom, I will give you a few helpful tips regarding infants and children and when a trip to the emergency room may be necessary. Number one, if there's a clear crying change. If the crying is suddenly extremely different from the baby's usual cry, it can be a sign that something's wrong. Two, strange skin color. Specific changes to look out for include turning blue, especially around the lips or face, yellow, pale, or mottled skin, or a rapidly spreading rash. Three, weaker limp muscles. Your baby has specific strength in his grip and supports himself in a certain way. If this changes, or if your baby feels unusually limp, weak, or different from normal, there could be something seriously wrong. Four, sudden sleep pattern switches. If your baby's sleeping much more than usual, or acting less alert, or if he or she is difficult to wake. And lastly, unusual breathing. You should be concerned if you observe a slow, rapid, or labored breathing, flurry nostrils, belly or ribs moving unusually when breathing, or not breathing at all. If your baby shows any of these symptoms, go to the emergency room immediately. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Don't go away, a check on sports is up next with Ramiko Knowles.